And gold's had a good run this year, up about 16%. A little bit of a pullback today on some dollar strength. Where's the next stop short term? Let's not talk 5,000 down the line. Let's talk about in the next month or two. Well, remember, a few months back when gold was still well below 1,200, I said on your program that I thought when it got above 1,200, we would trigger some buying and we would quickly run up to 1,300. We didn't quite make it there. We got just above 1,280. And we're now consolidating the big run from 1050 up to 1280. I think we're in a trading range right now, 1200 on the low side, 1280 on the high side. This is normal consolidation after such a big move. What's so interesting to me is that none of the gold bears have really thrown in the towel. I mean, look at Goldman Sachs. They're just as sure that gold's going to collapse now as they were back in December. I haven't seen any major brokerage firms put any buy recommendations on any of these gold stocks, despite the fact that many have doubled or tripled this year. You know, they still have buys on financials uh, that have had a horrible year, but nobody's recommending gold. So I still think we're climbing a wall of worry. I think it's early in this new bull market, which is really a continuation of the big bull market that began around 1999-2000. So I think once we break out of this consolidation, once we clear through 1300, I think we can have a pretty quick move up to 14, 1500. When exactly that's going to be, it's hard to say. But I think there's a lot of momentum to this move, and you know your your fast money traders should be buying at the low end of this trading range. Uh, Peter, what do you think Goldman's missing about the commodity rally that we've been experiencing? Well, because they're still wedded to the old narrative. They still expect the Fed to raise rates three times uh, this year. They still believe in this phony recovery. They still think the dollar is going to go up. And they're wrong. And, you know, un unfortunately, it's taking a lot for them to admit that. I think you know, at some point they're going to have to stop themselves out of these losing trades. Uh, I just don't know when. But uh, I'm not in any hurry for Goldman to capitulate. The longer they stay <laughs> short gold, uh, the happier it's going to make me.